hello YouTube today is Friday the 15th of December nine more sleeps to Christmas for some of us some it may have come a little early you join us again on the Dissus walkway it's 25 to 3 later start today granddaughter is going away skiing tonight so I've been out for a bit of lunch with her. Anywho, feels quite warm. 11 and a half. I've got too many layers on. Uh, might need to uh, take one layer off when we get to the top of here. Come join us. Welcome back to the channel, Living Track or Cycling. And we're blessed once again this afternoon with some pretty good weather. Uh, hasn't rained at all today, so dry on the tyre. Uh, not much wind to speak of, as winter days go, couldn't be a great deal better. So quite pleased with that. How many sleeps left till Christmas? Nine. Nine sleeps left till Christmas. For some of us. Hint, hint. <laughs> I forgot to take my neck buff off, I was too hot. Too warm. Yeah, I'm too warm. Put five layers on mine. So that explains that. Melodine golf course to my right. Got a nice hook there where you can get hot drinks and snacks. It's a nice golf course actually. Lovely views. And looks lovely. The blue sky and sunshine. He's not waiting today. He's as happy as a pig in poop. We're slowing down because he's too big to argue <laughs> with. Thank you. <laughs> I you were going to give me some abuse. Now. No, not at all. <laughs> Slightly different routes. This way for me. We're meeting up by what we call Murdo's Bench, which is half a mile away. Let's see who gets there first. Which way is the quickest? I won't ride faster than the pace I was doing with her. Let's see. This is uh, Dizuf. A route, a road rather, that I ride reasonably regularly, but which I've not filmed during the Christmas series. It offers some nice views. The higher up you go, the better your vantage point is. of the land below. It's that warm at the moment, it's saying 10.2, but it feels warmer. Thank you. Clear to cross downhill all the way on this road now to the bench no need to pedal it's a free wheel all the way cue music
and here's the bench so it was me that got here first and this bench is named Murdo bench by us because it's a memorial bench uh, and I don't know whether you can see from the plaque on the backrest rest a while it says in loving memory of Dr Murdo Alexander a Scotsman 1960 to 2014 friend to many Bon Accord Vamos, Tony. Vamos. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't use it the other day, didn't you? Deep yeah, well. roads. Some of the conditions we're riding in are that bad. You know, the drivetrain takes a great deal of punishment and you've got to I know. degrease and re oil it every sort of few rides. Well, the farmers have been very busy in the fields, haven't they? I'm disappointed that cyclist ahead of us didn't turn right there because I was looking forward to smoking him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in a world of his own. I've been, de I've been denied my opportunity to smite him. Hey, well. <laughs> uh, no doubt you'll be whizzing past me. Nice descent again now into Rudland. Q music. I didn't know there was a school around here. Oh yeah, over that way. To the left. I think it must have been the school Christmas party because there's a lot of elves around. And they're not actually Santa's elves, so... It must be a party. Car! Yeah, I got him. He decided to go through anyway. He's Alan pulling. Won. Oh, right, okay, they've stopped he's for pulling us, in. good. Oh, he's changed his mind. Coming up to St. Asa. Ahead is the A55 flyover around about there. Uh, years and years ago, a lorry crashed straight over that roundabout, that flyover. Very lucky driver, didn't get hurt, climbed to the bottom. To my right is the A55, the main dual carriageway.
Ooh. A light Good gravel bike you know. conditions, these. Yeah. What, what? What, what? Now he's just goofing about. Try not to fall off, my love. I have done that yesterday. Loading it up. He's just loading it up. Cheese on wheels, Dylan. Cheese on wheels. I think that's 2 0 today to Nanny. this nice quiet lane I'm going to give you a another technology update but this is a microphone update you will remember uh, over recent videos I've mentioned dog. on a couple of occasions the fact that I've had one of our two radio mics that we use to link to the camera uh, has failed on us there's a fault with it well the replacement uh, arrived today via UPS from Germany Let's just get past this dog first of all. He's watching us with interest. Hello. Hello. Phone. So the new mic got delivered today, which I was quite pleased about. And I immediately connected it to the camera to test it. And lo and behold, it didn't work. Now I initially thought they'd sent me a dud, but common sense suggested that that was unlikely. <laughs> and then I did some further testing and realised that the original mic hadn't failed at all. Me being a Dumbo had had the transmitter in mono mode, not stereo mode. So there I was sending one of the mics back to the company moaning and saying this is faulty when it was me being a Dumbo in the first place and running it in single mic or mono mode as opposed to stereo. Once I'd figured out how to turn it back to stereo mode, both mics were working fine. So, this suggested to me the very real probability that the original mic that I sent back wasn't faulty at all. So there's a lesson for us there, especially me. Investigate properly first. Get ready. Oh my god. Smarty vision. Oh. Yep. We do not want smarty vision around these parts. Definitely don't want smarty vision. It's quite a nice Indian, quite a nice Indian restaurant in uh, Brisbane. You don't have smelly vision then, but not by here. No cars seen coming towards over the hedgerows. Okay. I can't see over the hedgerows. He can. Because I am a shorty. But as they say, the best things come in small packages. Wah, wah, wah. The sculpture that you see ahead of you with the three soldiers in the uh, 
semicircle seating area has been here for a few years and it usually makes me smile as I pass um, you can see at the moment somebody's put Christmas hats on them which is quite nice there's a small information plaque to the right hand side which we're just taking a photograph and I'll put that uh, uh, on screen when we do the edit the river Cluid at dusk Vicky and I have just been discussing nine more sleeps until Christmas, the big day and it got me thinking about what uh, we're looking forward to in particular on the big day whether that's presents or seeing family um, now as for, as for presents oh, I've wow. already had mine and I have had mine <laughs> so let us know in the comment section below what in particular are you looking forward to about the big day? Is it a much wished for present? Is it seeing a family member that you haven't seen for a long time? Or is it something else? Let us know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to... I'm, look, I'm looking forward to that... Oh, I'm looking forward to that time on Christmas Eve where shops are closed. You... There's nothing else you can even pop out and buy but pops in your head. So you're done. You're all ready for the big day. Uh, just that feeling of, I don't know, a relief of having, it's a relief to have all your shopping sorted, your presents wrapped. I'm looking forward to uh, family coming around for Christmas dinner. Me too. How many children are coming around for Christmas dinner? Is it just the one or is we it? We have three. Oh, oh, how many of our kids? Yes. Two of our kids are coming around for Christmas dinner. And then my parents are coming around for dinner on Boxing Day, which will be nice. I'm looking forward to that as well. We're having uh, two kids, three grandkids, and our daughter-in-law. And for the Christmas Day dinner, we're having beans on toast, aren't we? <laughs> we are if you're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, you do you do a meat. You do a mean poached egg. I do. I do, don't I? I do a nice egg. cooked breakfast. You do? In the morning. Yep. We are now about a mile from home. Um, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, if this video has made you smile or even laugh, better still, um, please give us a like, it's much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, if you want to see... I was just going to say, if there's anything in particular they've noticed in this video and uh, want to put something in the comments, that would be good. If you want to see more madness and mayhem and stupidity from us, if you want us to try and make you smile or even laugh again, hit that subscribe button and we'll do our best. Thanks again. We're serious riders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're too old to try and be uh, wow. making people laugh and do silly things. Um, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Tune Thanks in. Thanks for watching, people. Toodle pip. Tassie, bye. <laughs>